Hey guys, how you doing? I hope everybody's well. It's a bit of a different video today. It's a bit of a talky thing. I'm playing with some shaders because things have happened. Things things have happened. Some good things, some bad things. One of the good things is that I can now use these shaders at a reasonable rate of... Well, that's quite low, but I mean, it has been sort of sitting at around 60 or whatever. This is a new shader that I've downloaded. Yeah, some things have happened. So the first of the first thing that I want to talk about, which I haven't really acknowledged in any of my videos so far, is we hit 100 subscribers. And that is it's amazing. It's not a massive number. It's, you know, when you look at when you look at the hermits or when you, when you look at the Minecraft guys or or various other Minecraft based YouTubers, it's a tiny, tiny number. But to me, it's absolutely massive. So I want to say a huge thank you to everybody that's been supporting the channel. All of all of you that I, I speak to and all of you that I don't know, it, just a huge, huge thank you. I started doing this as a bit of a challenge to myself to see if I could, and <clears throat> it turns out a few people quite enjoy it. So that that in itself is an amazing, amazing thing. As part of that, what I also wanted to do is say a massive, massive, massive extra special thank you to the six people who are currently supporting me on Patreon. You guys, you stupid <laughs> for a start, because I you know, I can think of a lot more deserving, a lot more talented YouTubers than I am, but you guys are just absolutely amazing. However, as part of the 100 subscriber bonanza, the special and everything, yes, there is going to be a cat vlog. I keep getting messages in Discord about this. There is definitely going to be a cat vlog. However, at the moment, the weather in England is quite warm. And I don't if you own cats, you will know this anyway. If you want a cat to do something, the second you want a cat to do something, they will stop doing it. Secondly, it's incredibly hot in England at the moment. So even if they were inclined to do something relatively amusing, the weather is just completely preventing them from do from doing that. Pretty much all they do is sleep all day and that would be a really boring video and they are proper, proper idiots. So I really want to get some funny stuff on video for you guys. So it's taken a little longer than I thought. It is definitely, definitely going to happen. The next thing that I want to do as a result of just a, a huge thank you to everybody that is subscribing is I'm going to be changing my Patreon rewards and this needs to load in a little bit. So at the moment, I believe it's $10 per month for access to the vanilla server which is hosted uh, or put up by Captain Irony who you sir are an absolute legend. I'm going to change that. So from the end of this month, so we're currently on the 6th of the 7th 2017, so from the end of this month for the foreseeable future, all patrons there will be one tier $3 a month. All patrons will gain access to the Minecraft server, to the Discord, to all of the rewards that I've currently posted on there. Anyone that is currently a patron and on a lower tier, so on the $1 tier, you essentially will be grandfathered into, into the new tier. So you don't have to pay the $3 a month, and I wouldn't expect you to, but you'll still get all of the rewards. For anyone that's paying more than $3, please go back, go into Patreon, have a look at your donations, and if if you if you want to change them, please do, because I want to make it fair for everyone, a single, single tier, a single reward, $3 a month, you get the Discord access, you get the server access, it is a vanilla server, it's running the Hermitcraft Season 5 Seed with the dungeons turned up, with the head drops. 
Captain Irony has sorted all of that out. He is hosting it for me. He is an absolute legend, really great guy. So if you want to join on there, I don't get on as much as I'd like to, but one of the things that I want to do is get the whole sort of community thing going because there's enough people now watching that I feel even if you just want to join the Discord, we, we can sort something out. If you want to join in on the server, let's let's make it nice and cheap and accessible and... You know, if you want to go and support a hermit, it's $10 a month. If you want to come and play on the same server, on the same settings that the hermits are playing on, you can join me on Patreon for $3 a month and you will get access to that. Okay, so we've covered we've covered the good stuff. We've covered the new Patreon tiers. We've covered the cat vlog, which is coming, I promise. It is definitely going to happen. I, it will happen. It's just taking a little longer. We've covered... The 100 subscribers, which is amazing, and you people are, you you are just brilliant, brilliant, amazing, fantastic people, and I love every single one of you. The next thing is something that is not so great. It's, it, it is great, but it's not, and that is one of the reasons that I've not been putting out videos over the past couple of weeks is that I've been in the process of upgrading my PC. So for those of you that don't know me, for those of you that aren't part of the same communities that I'm part of, for those of you that aren't part of Lake Logai and that, you'll know, uh, you won't know that I bought this PC, just a cheap gaming PC, um, a few months ago to basically enable me to dedicate this PC to playing and recording Minecraft so that I can turn the whole YouTube thing into more of a hobby, which has worked really, really well. The specs on the PC were good, but they weren't great. So I decided I wanted to upgrade them. I had a an, an uh, NVIDIA GTX 750 Ti. Two gig graphics card, worked really, really well, worked a charm for what I was using it for but not great. So I decided I wanted to upgrade to A1070, which I did. I also, in order to upgrade to the 1070, I had to get a new power supply. So that, that arrived and, and there was a bit of space in between the two. That took a little bit of time. What I also did, because I was recording to an external hard drive, which for those of you that do the same, you'll know this. For those of you that, that don't, you, you might not be aware. When you're recording to an external hard drive, essentially, because it's still a disk drive, it takes a while to spin up. So it can mess up sometimes your, your recordings or how they sync up together. And, and I wanted to avoid that. So what I did is I went out and I got myself a solid state drive. I got my solid state drive so that I could put Windows and Minecraft and PlayClaw, the recording software that I use, I could put all of that onto the solid state drive and then record directly to the hybrid drive that is in the computer, which is what I'm doing now. And that's great. That was brilliant. But the easiest way, because I had so much stuff on this PC, the easiest way for me to migrate Windows from the hybrid drive onto the new solid state drive was essentially to do a factory reset on the computer. There is a point to this story, by the way. So I did my factory reset. I, I Well, first of all, I plugged in my external hard drive. I backed everything up. I did my factory reset, which wiped the entire drive. I reinstalled Windows. I cloned it onto the solid state drive. I formatted the original one so that there was nothing on it whatsoever. And, you know, I get the instant boot up times. I get the ability to record in this manner now, which makes things a hell of a lot easier for me. What I also did, or didn't do, rather, was back up my Minecraft world saves. Now, those of you that have been watching the channel, especially recently, will know that I have recently started a single player series, CS Craft. That world has gone. It's, it's completely 
gone, lost forever. There is no way, no possible way for me to ever get that back again. So here's the thing. I've got my 1070, my GTX 1070. I've got my solid state hard drive. I've got my new power supply. This thing is running like a dream. There are more upgrades that I want to do, but I've got all this great stuff, which enables me to play and record and do all of that amazing stuff better than I did before. But I don't have my single player world. And here's, here's my question. And if you've got this far in the video, thank you, by the way. But here's my question. Do I take the seed from that single player world, recreate one, uh, recreate it, pop myself into creative and try and pull back or recreate everything that I'd already done? which might take a little while because I'll have to go through some of the old footage to try and work out where everything went and how much of each thing I had in each chest and, and you know, things like that. Shall I do that or shall I start an entirely new world? Now, I have no problem doing either. I really don't mind which, which one we do. The issue is I don't want to I don't want to give myself stuff in creative that I didn't have, but at the same time, I don't want to sort of sell myself short when I do that, if I do that. And that's going to take a fair bit of uh, a fair while to set up, which means there's going to be a delay in, in the single player series. If I start a new world, I can do a very, very quick here's a starter base, here's my farm, here's my blah, 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 um, to get to a similar point that we were at, but in a brand new world, in a brand new place, and we can we can start from scratch, and I could have something like that next week done. In fact, I could probably do that over the weekend, and we've got the series ready to go again. It would just mean a fresh start. I don't want... What I don't want is for people to have to sort of go through the whole... We're starting, we need to find somewhere to put a base and we need to do that. So I can I can essentially edit it and cut it and do quick uh, jump cuts through the first episode or two to bring us up to a similar place to where we were, but in a brand new world, in a brand new environment. It's, it's up to you guys. Do, do I go back to that original seed and try to rebuild what I'd lost, which is going to take a bit of time? Or do I start a brand new world? Totally up to you. I really, really don't mind either way. But if you if you have an opinion, or even if you don't have an opinion, stick something in the comments. Late Low Guy, fortunately, is a server. So I've not lost anything on that. All I need to do is find out the IP again, because I've lost that too. So uh, yeah, that was it. And also just to say, for any of you that have seen the spoiler trailer that I put out, it was a bit weird, wasn't it? Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was 100% happy with it. I quite liked it because it made sense to me and it made sense to some of the guys on, on the lake, but it might not have made sense to you. So for those of you that don't watch the other guys on the lake, why? Go to their channels, subscribe to them and watch their videos because they're all brilliant. But for those of you that don't, we are changing how we do things. We, The Lake Logo server is will be around forever it will never be reset it's been around since 1.6 1.7 something like that there is it's there's so much history there there's so much amazing builds from people that don't play minecraft anymore it is an amazing server but most things are done on it so what we're going to start doing is having a spin-off server which is going to work in series the next series is lake logo ripple or the ripple or i don't think it's something to do with a ripple yeah i don't know i didn't come up with the name but it's a resettable server so we will have a series that will run for maybe 12 months and then we will reset it exactly the same as they do on hermitcraft basically so every year maybe or however often we feel is appropriate the server will be reset we start again and we get to 
invite new members in for a new series and you know all that really really cool stuff so that's all that advert was pointing to it was a bit weird and it probably didn't make any sense to most of you but yeah it's something that i'm really excited about i know all the other guys are really excited about it too it's going to be amazing it's going to be really cool but anyway thank you for listening to me waffle on for the past 15 minutes or so let me know do you do you want to see a brand new seed a brand new world or do you want me to try to recreate the old one let me know in the comments i really really hope that i explained a lot about what was going on there will be a late logo video very very shortly i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was fairly informative and if you did enjoy it or you know whatever <laughs> leave us a like leave me some comment leave me comments i want to know what you think i should do it's that series is all about the people who watch my videos it's not about what i can do or what i want to do it's all about what you and what you want to see me do so it's entire i'm leaving this decision entirely down to you it's really important that you do stick some in the comments and if you want to see how the channel progresses how the new series comes along how the single player series comes along whichever way we go how the current late logo series goes on and anything else that i might be doing don't forget to hit that subscribe button thank you for watching for listening I'll see you in the next video shortly. Bye-bye.